Hi, this is Les Hasbargan. This tutorial uh, walks you through how to create a customized watershed in Global Mapper. And essentially what we'll do is we need to bring in a watershed boundary and then uh, load elevation data and generate a watershed. So here are the steps here. We'll open that watershed boundary file. This should have been created in something like stream stats and it should be a shapefile or a GeoJSON format. We'll change the projection to UTM in Global Mapper. We'll download elevation data into the watershed. We'll create the stream network and then uh, add it some additional touches. So uh, let's get started. In Global Mapper you can go up here to file and open data file or just click the open data file then you need to navigate to where you saved your basin boundary and uh, let's see I have one here for <coughs> a local watershed of the Unadilla River so I'll go ahead and open that it should pop right open into Global Mapper now I've already changed the projection to UTM which you can see down here and the way you do that if you are currently in a geographic projection is to go up to projection and typically you will open up into geographic latitude longitude and I'll apply that and notice that the boundary looks a little or the the watershed looks a little flatter we would prefer it not to be distorted like that so we'll go to UTM so once we have this watershed we need to select the digitizer tool up here and then select the watershed and then download a data set and we will just use for uh, demonstrative purposes the SRTM elevation data set we want to download it within the currently selected polygon and there it is so I will unselect this and now I want to generate a watershed within this uh, um, elevation data set. To do that we go to analysis and generate watershed. It'll give us some options here. Um, you can accept these, uh, that spacing, and set the depression fill depth to 15 meters. And so what it's doing is it's going back to the data server, pulling that data, and now um, operating on the data. You can see it's still loading the data. <coughs> then it goes through a filling the depressions, and I set that to 15 meters just to uh, uh, fill in any holes that might be there. And voila, we have our watershed. So most often when you open up Global Mapper, you won't have your um, vertical scale and you won't have a horizontal scale either. To enable those you have to go to the configuration tab, the wrench, and in display options you can tell it to have a grid or not. I have no grid on this one. You can show the distance scale or not. I'll go ahead and keep it on there. And the elevation legend. You can say, okay, no elevation legend. I'll move this a little out of the way. And that disappears. Or you can leave it in metric. So we have a scale. We have, uh, um, ah, the north arrow. I need to talk about that you can choose to show it or not and then you can also change a few other things about your north arrow typically it's much too big for my liking I will scale it